Y'all, my eyes gotta be deceiving me, cause ain't no way. So news broke this morning that the Sixers were parting ways with Doc Rivers and fired him after the disappointing loss to the Celtics in Game 7 a few days ago. This shit is really crazy to me. These NBA owners and GMs out here moving shiesty, straight, treacherous activities. Phoenix did the same thing with Monty Williams after the Suns got put out by the Nuggets. And then Milwaukee did the same thing with Coach Bud. Bro, it's no reason Mike Budenholzer should've been fired. Dog legit brought a championship to the city less than two seasons ago. I really hope I'm not the only one that's seeing the issue here. I understand that the coach play a big role on any NBA team, but it seemed like the league is just using head coaches as a scapegoat whenever something goes wrong. Dan Watts tweeted out the list of coaches that the Sixers would be looking at this offseason to replace Doc, and the majority of these people were coaches that were just recently fired. I swear to God, the league be having the same coaches in rotation like NBA players be having the same bad bitches in their lineups. The same way the NBA dating pool is tiny, the NBA coaching pool is even tinier. Then the Sixers had the nerve to make this thank you for everything Doc Rivers post on IG. They probably had the social media team working on that before the game 7 even ended. And yeah, it was a lot of things going wrong in that series for the Sixers, but all that blame can't be placed on Doc. It's not his fault Jason Tatum bullied his way to a 50-piece McNugget and James Harden and Joel Embiid decided to magically forget how to play basketball. Is it too late to take away that MVP from Embiid? Like, this is probably the most here nigga damn award I've seen in NBA history. Been crying for it for the past couple seasons and finally got it. Embiid went from averaging like 33 a game in a regular season to only averaging 23 points a game in the playoffs. And for James Harden, Lil Baby won sitting courtside, so we should've knew he was gonna put up a Hall of Fame stinker. Dog only had nine points. And the funny thing to me is that in his post-game interview, Embiid B had the audacity to claim that him and James couldn't do everything alone and they needed help. Like, bro, you are the help. Get your ass out there and hoop. <laughs> but hey, remember to like the video, follow your boy on Insta, and sub on YouTube. Link in bio.